Hey guys, on today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to update to the latest iOS. So let's go right away into settings. Under settings, you guys will scroll down until you see general. But just before that, make sure to make a backup on your iCloud. Okay, so just make that backup just in case something happens, okay? Um, if you guys don't have any more space on your iCloud, don't worry about it. Just connect it up to your computer and use iTunes in order to make that backup. Alright, so... Um, right now, let's just go into general, assuming that you guys made that backup. And then your second option will be software update. Under software update, we will see this come up. Um, it might take a little bit, and then you guys will see this, all right? So that's 11.2.2. You guys will see download and install. So at this point, we only see install on my screen because you already downloaded. And for most of you, it's actually going to download by itself. So as long as you guys are connected to Wi-Fi, assuming, all right? So just make sure you have a steady Wi-Fi connection. Make sure you have at least 50% of your battery. And um, although oh, at the point that it's downloading, let's say your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch turns off, it doesn't really matter. Nothing will happen. However, if it's installing and that happens, or just anything happens while that's installing, then you guys will have to restore. And that's why I'm recommending to make that backup before doing any updates. Although this is a tiny, tiny update that will only take you guys about 15 minutes total. That's from downloading to installing, okay? Uh, for those of you who have maybe an iPad that's really, really full of stuff, um, plus your internet connectivity is not that greatest and your slow, 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 slow internet, then it might take you a little bit longer than that. But if you guys are there hanging on for an hour or two, it might be time to restore. Something may have gone wrong, okay? So once you click on, well, tap on install now, you guys will see that this will turn off. You guys will see a white screen app logo loading bar. After the loading bar is done, that's it. That's it for the update. You guys will see your screen back and it's all good. Will you guys have to put your iCloud ID again? No. Um, for those of you who have a passcode, of course, you will have to put in your passcode. And that's about it. That's it for this update. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.